Which of these new AI models is the best? Gemini 2.5 Pro or DeepSeek V3.1? I think we got too many new toys in a single day, guys. Basically, both Google and DeepSeek released their new most powerful models together. From one side, we have Google Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is a new incredibly powerful model with reasoning capabilities already placed at first position on LM Arena. And on the other side, we got unexpectedly DeepSeek V3.1, which doesn't have the reasoning mode like Air 1, I mean. However, even without thinking mods, it seems to perform even better than Cloud 3.7's on thinking, which is just crazy in my opinion. So what we are gonna do today is to test them all. As you can see, we've prepared some prompts and we'll test them with all these three models, Gemini, DeepSeek and even Cloud 3.7 because it is a model we are all familiar with. So for today's test, we'll use Google AI Studio for getting access to Gemini 2.5 Pro. Then we'll use Open Router for accessing DeepSeek V3.1. The real name is 0324. And then we'll use GitHub Copilot Chat for accessing Cloud 3.7's on net thinking, as you can see from here. So let's hurry up and get started with the first test. Okay, this is the first prompt. If you write down all the numbers from 300 to 400, how many times do you have to write the digit three? So basically I will copy this prompt and I will paste on all the three models. This test can be tricky as it requires a little bit of reasoning capabilities. Here is DeepSeek, then Gemini, and then Cloud. The answer, correct answer to this is 120. Let's see which model will be the best. Okay, this one failed with DeepSeek. Let's try again. Still is not working. Okay, let's see the other ones. Gemini is thinking correct. Gemini gave the uh, correct answer. Okay, so for me it's a pass. Then let's try again with DeepSeek. Still is not working. Let's try creating a new room. Even DeepSeek gave the correct answer. Let's now see uh, Cloud 3.7. Okay, correct answer again, even for Cloud. Okay, let's unveil the second question. I'm five years older than my sister, who is seven years younger than Lucy. How old was Lucy when her age was equal to the sum of hours? Okay, as before, I'm going to copy this prompt and uh, let's start with the Gemini. Okay, in the meanwhile, I'm proceeding so with the other two, Dipsic and Cloud 3.7. Okay, according to Gemini, uh, Lucy was nine years old. And this is correct. Nine is the correct answer. So for Gemini, it is a pass. Okay, Dipsic is still thinking, I think. <laughs> okay. Okay, this riddle can be uh, easily solved using a, a system of equations, simple equations, I mean. And yeah, I think that this is the strategy applied by DeepSeek, yeah. Okay, it was very slow, however, even DeepSeek was able to answer with the correct number of years, in this case, nine years, so it is a pass. Then we have Cloud, again, it is correct, this test is being kind of boring. No, third one. Okay, this is very interesting. So, what is the output of the following C program? This is the C program. Uh, basically, here we have a simple while loop. However, as variable for the counter, I'm using a char, which can be uh, kind of strange. However, I'm asking for the outputs of this program. Let's see if these models are smart enough. Okay, let's copy the prompt. Here is Gemini, then DeepSeek and Cloud. Okay, Gemini answer is very detailed. And yeah, it is correct. Basically, it says that that if char is unsigned, the outputs uh, consists of the numbers from 1 to 127. Instead, if char is signed, the program uh, enters an infinite loop, which is correct. Okay, so I'll give a pass for Gemini. I even consider the answer as correct, even if they answer with uh, infinite loop, okay? So let's now see Dipsy. The program prints number from 1 to 127, each on a new line, and then stops. Mm, no, in this case, it is wrong. I mean, this answer is not detailed enough to be considered as correct. So in this case, I'm giving a fail. No, let's see a cloud answer. No, even in this case, it is wrong. Let's continue with the next one. Going from point A to B costs 3, from A to C costs 5, and so on. Basically, this is a description for a graph. Even in this case, I'm gonna copy it. Here we have Gemini, Dipsic, and Cloud. Basically, the final question is, what is the minimum cost for going from A to E? So basically, the model has to, in some way, evaluate the graph and has to evaluate the minimum path for going from the node A to node E. Okay, so this is the answer from Gemini. The minimum cost for going from A to E is 13, which is correct. Okay, so it is a pass. Even in this case, the answer is correct, 13. Good. Even Cloud 3.7 uh, gave us the correct answer, 13. Yeah, pretty good. Now, let's continue. 
Okay, this is the first coding question. It says, create a web Pac-Man game. Even the player is controlled by PC. Put everything into a single HTML file. Interesting. Let's send it to all the different models. Gemini, Tipsy, and Cloud. They are all generating code. As you can see, Cloud has crashed. So I will try to send it again, the prompt. It crashed again. I think it is a problem with uh, GitHub Copilot and not with Cloud. So I'm going to ask it to continue the generation. Okay. I I think I'll skip for now Cloud 3.7 Sonnet. I think GitHub is having some problems right now. Maybe we'll try later. So for now, let's analyze the two results from Gemini and Dipsy. Here we have the two applications. This one is the Gemini one. Instead, this is the Dipsy one. Let's test this one, Gemini. It does not seem to work as the player is stuck here. Let's see instead the Dipsy one. Okay, it is a little bit fast. However, it is working. Yeah, awesome. Really, really awesome instead cloud 3.7 is still stuck okay so back to our uh, scoreboard i'll give a fail for gemini 2.5 and a pass for dipsic because the tab copilot interface is not working with cloud 3.7 sonnet thinking i've decided to use it from inside open router so again here is the pacman game prompt let's see if this time is the right one okay it worked uh, inside open router so I'm gonna copy this code and I'm gonna paste it in inside an index.html file. Okay, this is the cloud version. Yeah, it is working. Sometimes it gets stuck, however, in some way it is working. We can consider it a pass. Let's proceed with another one. Even this one is about coding. Create a web 3D scene with a rotating cube with a ball bouncing inside of it with realistic gravity. Let's test it. Here we have Gemini, Dipsic, and about Cloud, I'm testing again with GitHub Copilot. If it won't work, I will test it with uh, Open Router. All three have finished, as you can see. Gemini, Dipsic, here we have the code, and even Cloud 3.7 inside Copilot. So let's put all this code inside some HTML files. So these three are the results. This one is from Gemini 2.5 Pro and I think it is uh, very well implemented. Uh, maybe the ball is too slow, however we can even drag the cube. It implemented also the shadows, which is really good. So for Gemini is a pass. Then we have Dipsic and even this one is very well implemented. We cannot drag it, however in this case we can with the, the gravity of the ball. Maybe it could have been implemented better, however for being a, a zero shot I think it is a good result. So even for a dipsic is a pass and then the last one we have cloud it is pretty similar to the dipsic one we cannot drag the cube and at the beginning the ball is bouncing then i don't think the collisions are implemented in the correct way however in general we can consider this as a as a pass and now there is just the last one. Create a Python program that draw a 3D rotating donut in my terminal. Let's test it. As usual, Gemini, Dipsic and Cloud. Gemini is always the fastest. So I've just put in this VS Code window all the three results. The one from Gemini, Dipsic and Cloud. Let's test them. So let's start with the Gemini. Mm, okay. I don't know if I can consider this as a donut. Maybe a very small donut. I don't know. Mm, okay, let's test it inside a real terminal so gemini okay the result is the same i mean i'm not able to to understand if this is a donut for real maybe if we change some values no okay so for now i'm considering this as a fail let's proceed with a dipsic one yeah this is clearly a donut <laughs> very good and lastly we have the uh, cloud version okay even this one is clearly a donut so i'll give a pass for dipsic and also a pass for cloud so here we have the results. What should we say about them? I want to start by saying that all three models perform very well. The most impressive thing is that Dipsic V3.1, for being a non reasoning model, is performing very well. And I'm serious, maybe it performs way better than some reasoning models, even with tasks like math problems, riddles, and so on. For sure, it is due its architecture. Don't forget, it is a MOE model, it stands for Mixture of Experts. Basically, it means that even if from our side it seems to be just a 700 billion model, Model, almost 700 billion. Actually, under the hood, it is composed of different smaller models called experts. 
So for example, uh, it can have the expert for math operations, the other one for language operations and so on. Okay, so it is composed of different experts. And uh, this seems to be a very interesting strategy instead of having a single general purpose big model. So yeah, uh, this model is very interesting for sure. My initial expectations were uh, lower because, I mean, uh, this was the only one without the reasoning capabilities. Then we have Cloud 3.7, however, uh, today uh, I don't want to talk about Cloud 3.7 a lot because we already know very well this model. It is a flagship model under every aspect. So let's just move to the other important model for today, Gemini 2.5 Pro. If I just consider these results, maybe I should say that uh, it is the loser today. However, I just want to say that uh, even if it failed two times uh, in the Pac-Man game and in the Donut program, it failed just for small details, I think. For example, in the Pac-Man game, the problem was just about the uh, player position. And for the Donut program, I think the only problem was about the sides, because the animation seemed to be very well implemented. However, Compared to the other results, uh, it was for sure a fail. But what I want to say is that in the experience of using this model, Gemini 2.5 Pro, it seems to be way smarter than uh, DeepSeek V3.1 or even Cloud. And I've seen this in the questions about logic and math. I mean, it gave uh, more detailed responses. And there is not even a comparison. I mean, uh, the responses from uh, Gemini 2.5 Pro are the uh, most detailed. What do you think instead? Do you have any tests you would like us to do? Let us know in the comments. 